Now to an NBC Connecticut exclusive and a life-changing journey for a Wallingford family whose son was born with a rare birth defect. Now thanks to a doctor with a dream and a mother's determined love, five-year-old Wesley Pierce is moving confidently into his future. Heidi Voigt brings us his story. Are you shy? Wesley Pierce of Wallingford is feeling a lot less shy these days. He was born with uh, microtia and atresia. So he was born with the absence of an ear canal and he was born missing majority of his right ear. Traditional surgery for microtia is invasive and involves removing rib cartilage to build an ear. But over 2,800 miles from Wallingford in Torrance, California, Dr. Cheryl Lewin has invented a groundbreaking new approach using 3D scanning and molding to create a perfect replica implant. Basically what we've never been able to do before, a mirror image of the child's opposite ear. So mom Victoria made some magic happen. I recycled almost 91,000 cans and bottles. To get Wesley cross country and give him the chance to feel just like every other kid. Whoa. This is big time here, Wes. And after 10 hours of surgery, it was time for the big reveal. <laughs> Look at you. What was that like for you as a mom in that moment? Relief. <laughs> Instant relief. Relief for mom and dad. Comic relief for Wesley. Open. Open. Ah, no, it's brown. Oh. It's purple. What did you ask for? It's purple. His reaction now going viral and teaching others about this rare condition. You know, there's going to be a mo another mom someday who's going to have the same condition. And there's more out there now. And he's a big part of that. Awareness Dr. Lewin hopes will lead to a kinder world. I love having the opportunity to give that to a child and a family, and I love to see their confidence bloom afterwards. But boy, wouldn't it be great if, you know, we are all just so understanding of differences that, you know, you wouldn't even worry about that. In Wallingford, Heidi Voigt. I love my new ear. NBC Connecticut News. <laughs> and we like it too, Wesley. Today, by the way, November 9th is National Microtia Atresia Awareness Day. And right now, advocates are pushing for change in Washington to require insurance companies to cover hearing aids for people who have this rare condition.